Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Before we get into your reading, Gemini, I want to give you guys a quick update and let you guys know that um, if you guys come across, whether it be on Instagram, Facebook, or here on YouTube, um, any accounts that are trying to portray themselves as us, I would highly encourage you guys to report those accounts so they can be shut down. As I've been told by many of you that there are people out there pretending to be me, trying to schedule appointments only to get your money um, without giving. Obviously, it's not me, so I'm not really giving any readings um, because I'm unaware that you're scheduling with other people. So again, you guys be mindful and be careful with dealing with people like that. Um, if you guys go here on my YouTube channel, on the description below, or on my main page, you see all my social medias. Those are my, you know, official social medias. If it's none of those that you come across, report them. The same thing with the comments. I've been noticing a lot of people trying to um, come off as if they work with me. I do. I am not affiliated with none of them. So again, report those comments. Um, I was thinking of actually shutting down the comment section because of that same reason i've been getting a lot of spammers coming on here uh trying to get you guys to get services from them so again you guys be mindful of that i just don't want you guys to get screwed by these people all right my lovelies let's get into your reading let's see what spirit has for you gemini's in regards to love and romance let's see what's going on how are you guys doing how is this retrograde treating you guys my patience has been tested many times you guys <laughs> It's been crazy. But anyways, I think everyone's uh, taking it very differently. It is a very heavy retrograde because of the planet alignments. Uh, but it's also activating my chart. So again, I've been dealing with a lot lately. I hope you guys are doing better than me um, in regards to patience. <laughs> All right, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month remaining of June 2021 in regards to love and romance. Let's see what's going on with you, Gemini's. All right, let's get into it. Your first card here, wow, the Three of Swords, Queen of Cups, Ten of Cups, Princess of Cups, and the Two of Wands. Okay. Hmm. Interesting here. So the card that's representing you right now, Gemini, is the Three of Swords. Three of Swords could indicate um, feeling a bit... I'm going to be honest with you. I feel that this three of swords could indicate some type of hurt, some type of betrayal that you're either currently going through or the feeling of certain things that are coming up that are making you feel or reminding you of past experiences that you've had with other relationships. What they're telling you here with this three of swords is there is a need um there is a need to fully embrace some type of healing that needs to happen or that you have been either running away from. So this could be if you have a tendency of going from one relationship to another, instead of addressing uh, the loss of a relationship, uh, it could be a defensive mechanism that you have a tendency of doing. Um, and, and there is a need for you to acknowledge that or there is a need for you to uh, fully commit to your healing process. Um, it's almost like carrying a lot of baggage from past experiences to every relationship that comes up or any connection. It could be like having a lot of issues with mistrust, um, feeling like people are hiding their true motives, that type of energy. Uh, and what they're telling you is this is based off of past experience. So there, there is almost a blockage that you that you have to overcome uh, in regards to being able to trust the process when we're dealing with love relationships or romance. Now, the person of your interest is coming up as the Queen of Cups, maybe dealing with water energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Uh, this is a very loving or nurturing type of energy. This can also represent a person that is very intuitive. Um, and I feel that there is like a deep connection here um, with the Ten of Cups. This is the dynamic itself. So the Ten of Cups is that of 
connecting, fully embracing, or finding a person that is like that will meet you halfway. This is a connection that was not accidental. I feel that right now what you're going through is almost like kind of questioning if things are going a little bit too good. You often fall to that energy of I'm waiting it, you know, I'm waiting for something to mess up. I'm waiting for something to let me know that it was too good to be true. Um, you got to shift that mentality, Gemini. And another thing that they are telling you here is it, it could be a recurring cycle. This could be you or this could be your partner that feels like someone in this relationship likes to get a lot of attention. So whether it be you or whether it be your partner, it's like they enjoy getting attention from the opposite sex or if you're same sex. Um, and, and there is almost like a, I want to say a, it's, I, I wouldn't want to say a red flag, but it's almost like you could be guarded or they could be guarded because because of that tendency that you've noticed like they like to get attention um but what they're saying here is that this person or you if it's you um you're carrying a lot of insecurities and again it has a lot to do with past experiences past relationships now i do see that there is promise for being able to stabilize this relationship and to be able to further it um, but there is, again, reservation on your part here with the three of swords. So if it's you, Gemini, the one that likes to get attention, the one that maybe in the past you've stepped out of relationships, what they're telling you is when you get into a relationship, you have to be willing to commit to it 100% in the sense of don't be... Don't be thinking I'm going to get into this relationship the moment there's hardships in that connection. Let me entertain other people in case it doesn't work out here because what you're doing is you're setting up yourself for failure. So it's kind of like if you keep people in the in the, you know, back burner just in case this doesn't work out, you are potentially creating the failure in the relationship itself with that type of mentality. Do you see what I'm saying? So what they're telling you here is that if you're going to fully invest or commit your energy to a person, you have to be wholeheartedly into it to be able to see the fruits of that uh, connection materializing. Because I do see that the person you may be dealing with, it's almost like there is there is a lot of loving energy for some of you guys. I'm also getting for some of you guys. This could be a connection regarding someone that is married. So if you're dealing with the person that is married um, or is in a commitment, I do see that there is love on both sides, but there is a need to understand and address the fact that if they're not single, you can't really build a castle in sand because it's going to dissolve. It's going to come to an end there is a lack of reality in this situation if you are dealing with someone that's married um so it's about talking about it and how do we move forward moving forward with this connection because i definitely do see that there is for some of you guys not all but for some you may be dealing with someone that is in a commitment or that is in a marriage um and you have to keep in mind whatever energy that you're going, whatever it is that you start off when we're talking about relationships, can you fully trust a person that is committed, has left their partner because they're being with you? Can you trust that person moving forward should you want to create some type of commitment? Do you see what I'm saying? So it's about acknowledging our shadow side and addressing those blockages in order to be able to stabilize or find ourselves in a healthy committed relationship i hope that makes sense all right my lovelies i hope that this gives you some type of insight i wish you guys the very best and we'll see each other soon till then bye